Well, I have a question for y'all. How many cups of coffee have you already had this morning? Well, if you didn't know, March is National Caffeine Awareness Month and worldwide nearly 2 billion cups of coffee are consumed every single day. But some experts say there is a thing as too much coffee. Here's Dua Isra. What can I get started for you? The sounds of freshly brewed coffee. Signals the start of the day for many. I drink it because I enjoy the taste. I probably drink more coffee than water, which is not a good thing. <laughs> I started drinking coffee when I was like five. But sometimes the jolt from just one cup of joe. It used to be a lot more. <laughs> or two. Five to ten. Isn't enough. Get a black coffee to go in whatever this gentleman wants. There's a couple of common myths brewing about coffee. Number one, it can stunt your growth. As far as research shows, that is a myth. Number two, one too many cups and you may be up all night. Each person responds to coffee or the caffeine in coffee differently, so some people are more sensitive to it and it could cause insomnia for some people. Number three, coffee can be bad for your heart. What we're seeing research show is associated with drinking coffee is uh, less likely of certain chronic diseases like heart disease, some cancers, possibly diabetes. Number 56. Whether it's hot or ice. The iced matcha with oat and the iced chai with oat. Health benefits that we see with coffee drinkers is we're, we're talking about uh, black coffee that's unsweetened. Experts say having an additional cup or two can do more than just get you through the day.